What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about Roman Reigns' potential next uh, few opponents he has lined up. Um, and it kind of makes sense on what happened last night on Friday Night SmackDown. If you guys missed the live stream, definitely it was a it was a great time. I did a live stream reaction just to check out the uh, tag team unification match. Match was fun. Of course, Roman got involved, caused uh, RK Bro to lose the Raw Tag Team titles. And then after that, Roman went mega rogue with the Usos and destroyed Matt Riddle and Randy Orton. Had a whole bunch of kids crying. Grown men shock. It was great. That was a perfect way to end off SmackDown. I enjoyed that live stream reaction. Shout out to everyone that was there. So <clears throat> the reason why I say it makes sense is because of this article that uh that wrestling uh news that ceo has uh um, made they i think they made this the day of smackdown they uh created this article and it says spoiler roman reigns next three uh title challengers revealed and i think you can kind of guess where this is going although roman reigns is slated to miss wwe hell in a cell on june 5th the undisputed wwe universal champion will work the following three premium events Dave Meltzer reported in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that right now the talks is Reigns will defend the title against Matt Riddle on July 2nd at the Money in the Bank, uh, Randy Orton on July uh, 30th at SummerSlam, and Drew McIntyre at the Clash of the Castle UK Stadium show on September 3rd. Keep in mind that plans uh, change all the time in WWE and none of these matches are etched in stone. After Reigns signed a new deal, he was removed from several television and live events this summer, and he will be working fewer dates. However, Reigns will be appearing on television to build those three matches. He's been recently announced for the June, July 22nd uh, SmackDown in Boston, the Raw event on July 25th at Madison Square Garden, and the August 19th SmackDown in Montreal. Oh! That's the day before my birthday, so I definitely may have to check that out. Reigns hasn't definitely, uh, Reigns hasn't defended the gold since defeating Brock Lesnar in their title unification bout at WrestleMania, WrestleMania 38. So, these are the scheduled plans for Roman Reigns, man, and it makes sense. It makes sense. What you saw last night was a build up. What they're probably going to end up doing is they're going to build up to. Uh, a rematch for the uni uh, for the unified tag team titles at Hell in a Cell between RK Bro and and the Usos, and I'm actually looking forward to that. They need to definitely amp it up because what they did to them last night was fantastic. So I want to see RK Bro go rogue. I want to see RKOs out of nowhere. I want to see some some br brutality. And the one thing I was thinking since we do got bald Randy back with no stash i was thinking they attacked them from behind either sometime if they were to pop up on monday night raw i would have uh rated rk bro attack them in a backstage segment then i would have them if they once again they showed them on monday night raw talking trash i would have them attack them after the segment in a backstage brawl and i would set up matt riddle holding down roman reigns so that way randy orton can punt him into another dimension but the officials stop him then i can see them talking smack again on smackdown uh the bloodline and then have them attack them from the crowd it's all chaos and what i would do is keep teasing that roman i mean keep teasing randy orton's mission to send roman reigns to the gulag and what i would possibly do i would you know I would set it up in a way where you're building up this need for a Hell in a Cell. The Hell in a Cell is definitely needed for their match, so there's no interference. But you're building up the animosity between them because it's just chaos. It's just straight chaos. So since Roman's not going to be on the show, at some point before the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, I would have Randy Orton punt, this, punt Roman Reigns to the gulags. Now it makes it even, now we're getting real personal. Now the Usos are pissed because now Randy Orton put them on the shelf. Storyline-wise, they had their match at Hell in a Cell. 
and i honestly don't know if you have rk bro win here um I, I mean you could you know that could be a way but i think they're gonna have them lose if they're still setting up individual matches with randy orton and uh matt riddle for the next few pay-per-views so it only it doesn't make sense for them to win and then i mean granted they could do something like that maybe they beat them say they beat them at hell in a cell which would be cool i wouldn't have a problem with that they would have a fantastic match they beat him roman is out roman comes back he's pissed matt riddle wants to face him for for the titles of course he loses then randy orton wants to face him for the titles of course he loses then then you build up to to uh drew mcintyre so that could be something that they do I don't know. I'm just kind of coming off the, the dome with some of these uh, scenarios. But ultimately, I want to see them brawl, make the Hell in a Cell tag team unification match that more even important, make it more personal since they did destroy them on SmackDown. Maybe you can write off Roman off TV for a few weeks with the punt kick. I think that would be cool. And then it also plays into their, to their match with randy orton as well um randy orton facing uh uh roman reigns as well or you can say that for the SummerSlam match so that that's also what you can do but either way i'm enjoying the bloodline rk bro storyline it's very fun very entertaining and i'm looking forward to seeing what they do let's be real we know randy orton matt riddle not winning the real question is does drew win that's what I want to ask y'all down below. Do y'all think Drew McIntyre will win at the Castle UK Stadium event? Do y'all think that's when he'll get the job done? Let me know, man. I, 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 If there's any show that he could win it, win at least one of the titles, I think it could be there, possibly. So let me know down below, you know, uh, if y'all think, you know what I'm saying, when they do have the match, because Roman will still be the champ then, do you think that's when Roman drops the Universal Championship, potentially, to Drew McIntyre at the UK show? Let me know down below. I want to get your thoughts and opinions on that. But uh, appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one.